Anyway, so want to cover our ayah today. The ayah beam. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu in ja'akum fasiqun binaba'in fatabayyanu an tusibu qawman bi jahalatin fatusbihu ala ma fa'altum nadimin. So it's come to us a narration whereby a companion he was sent to collect the zakah from our people, from a nation, from a group, from a town. But there were some issues between him and them. So he went off to go and collect it. But due to fear of this issue coming up, he went back and said, Oh, they didn't give the zakah. So based on that, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam got together a group of companions to go and collect it by force. So therefore, this is what we call Asbab and Azul, where we take a circumstance, a narration which clarifies the circumstances for which the ayah was revealed and we use that to understand the application of the ayah. Now there's a very important qaida principle which is Al-ibratu bi'amum al-lafzi la bi khusus sabab The point here is the generality of the text, not the specificity, specificity, not the specificity of the circumstances, meaning although this ayah was revealed in relation to that circumstance, it doesn't mean it's specific only to that people or to that circumstance. It's applicable to anywhere where such circumstances is the same. So if you have any information that comes to you and you don't verify it, then there's an element of sin involved. However, this particular narration, although it's mentioned in the books of Tafsir, isn't actually authentic. There was never a circumstance that we have verified where a companion did such a thing, where the Messenger of Allah said Allah reacted in such a way. However, it doesn't take away from the understanding we can take from the ayah. And as that particular narration isn't trying to establish any new information or any new ruling, it's only seeking to explain the meaning of the ayah, then inshallah is not a problem. Now, if we look and analyze the, the ayah, it says, if a fasiq comes to you with a naba, two things. Naba means great information, significant information, it doesn't mean any other information, it just means great information, significant, important information. And fasiqun, a very important one, means a sinful person, a person who's, who's left obedience of Allah, fasiq. So what that means is, if someone comes to you and they are sinners, i.e. they don't fear Allah to the level whereby they would normally not lie, then verify it before you accept it. It doesn't mean reject, it just means to verify. But there's a hidden meaning in this. The word fasiq was generic. Just like we had in yesterday's video, we had hasana as generic. Fasiqun is also generic. What we call nakira in Arabic. And as Sheikh Suleiman Rahili points out, he said that fasiqun can be in the person. He himself is fasiq. He himself is a sinful person. Therefore, you verify before you accept it. But also, the fisq can be in the information. Not the person, but the information. What does that mean? It means that maybe the person who came to you was reliable. He wasn't a liar, he was truthful. However, the information he came opposes that which is more reliable. So, for example, if someone says to you, oh, don't speak to so-and-so, he's um, an innovator, he's a qadiani, he's, he's a bad person. But you know this individual personally. You know that what they're saying doesn't make sense, doesn't add up. So, you're not denying the truthfulness of them. However, you're questioning whether they got it right, whether they were accurate. And this is the basis of what we call a hadith shad, a hadith which fulfills all the rules of being authentic, reliable, except that it opposes that which is more reliable. Now there was a time in, in history where some brothers and I guess sisters as well were forcing other people to accept their information, their narration, saying that I am reliable. Saying but you have to accept because it says if they're fasiq, don't accept, i.e. if they're not fasiq, you must accept. Well, yes and no. The problem may not be the person narrating the information, but maybe the information has been narrated in the first place. And this is actually the reason why I'm not too fond of the news, to be honest. Because, number one, how do we know that the information they are narrating is true and authentic? I've seen so many situations where what they say on the news is actually far from the truth. And don't forget what the ayah says. If a fasiq comes to you with information, as we know, there's no greater fisq than kufr. Anyway, we hope you found this video useful today. Don't forget the like button, click it subscribe button, slam it, and the bell button, push it. Assalamu alaikum.